Hello everyone. Today let's learn about lesson number one of Vistas, the third level by Jack Finney. This presentation is about the first part of detailed explanation. Furthermore, if you want to watch videos of other lessons and poems, then you can find them in the playlist. So here let's get started with the story about the author. Walter Braden Jack Finney. Walter Braden Jack Finney, who had a lifespan from October 2nd, 1911 to November 14, 1995. He is among the best authors of America. His best known works include science fictions and thrillers. The Body Snatchers and Time and Again are among his most popular works. The former, that means The Body Snatcher, became a basis for the 1956 film Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The Third Level and Introduction The Third Level by Jack Finney is about the harsh realities of war. War has irreversible consequences. It leaves people in a state of fear and insecurity. It is also about modern day problems and how common man tends to escape reality by various means. And in this way, the story is an intersection of time and space. The theme of the story. It is a psychological journey of the narrator Charlie who is the central character and he had a journey into the past, present and moves towards future. So in this way, the problems of modern world, insecurity, fear, war, worry and stress have been emphasized. The narrator interweaves fantasy and reality in the most futuristic projection of time travel. So hence, the theme of escapism is also touched by the author here. Here we go with the story. So the protagonist is Charlie and who is a representative of all the people who are part of this modern world and who have witnessed different sorts of different wars especially World War I and World War II and who have witnessed the destructions caused by these wars. So hence uh, being victims or victim of a modern world uh, we have also witnessed uh, all sorts of negative elements like stress, fear, worry. So here the narrator is Charlie and here he starts in this way. The presidents of the New York Central and the New York New Haven and Hartford railroads will swear on a stack of timetables that there are only two. Now here the narrator Charlie tells us that according to all the evidences there are only two levels, only two here refers to two levels of um, the Grand Central Railway Station New York. But I say there are three. Because I have been on the third level of the Grand Central Station. So here in one way, in on one hand he says that there are evidences that there are only two levels of the Grand Central Railway Station. But on the other hand he just contradicts to his statement saying that according to him there are three. So what is the basis of his this opinion? Yes, I have been taken that obvious step. He says as soon as he realized that he had an experience of visiting the third level of the Grand Central Station which actually does not exist, immediately he went to take a help and that obvious that apparent step was taken by him means whenever we face problems we feel to discuss uh, that with either our family members or a person who can uh, share his specialized view. So I talked to a psychiatrist friend of mine among others among discussing this matter of his visit to the third level of the Grand Central Station he talked to uh, most importantly he talked to his friend who was a psychiatrist by profession and his name later on we uh, find is Sam. 
so i told him about the third level at grand central station and he said it was a waking dream wish fulfillment so what was the how did sam react to the description given by charlie about his such a strange and peculiar and weird experience he said that it so it was nothing but a waking dream wish fulfillment it was nothing but just his fantasy it was just a part of his imagination a dream within a dream so he said and further how did he explain he said i was unhappy on the basis of whatever knowledge uh, sam had about uh, as he was his friend so he was very close to him he had a lot of knowledge about uh, the real life and lifestyle of uh, and problems of uh, charlie so he said that he is not happy with his life and and many a times uh, more moreover that made and his this attitude made his wife uh, Louisa later on we find that his wife's name is Louisa kind of mad and she is also quite upset and she also has complain against Charlie but further he explained that he meant the modern world is full of insecurity fear war worry and all the rest of it he is not the only one or he is not the uh, the exception Uh, apart from him all the other people are victims of the problems of the modern world and that i just want to escape and the main reason behind his uh, such uh, strange experience was that he just was lo- he was just looking for some sort of escape from these harsh realities then well who doesn't he further said everybody i know wants to escape the realities they they want to get uh, shelter uh, um, from these harsh realities and these uh, difficult difficulties so but of course however all all of us just for uh, a change we just want to divert our attention we either we try to recreate ourselves in several ways by adopting different hobbies or just by making a fun trip to other places with our family members or friends but nobody wander down into any third level at grand central station but of course this this peculiar uh, uh, trait of charlie was a little different that he made a visit to uh, a level of a station that actually doesn't exist so but that's the reason he said that was the only reason and my friends all agreed when uh, charlie shared about about uh, the opinion of sam uh, with all his friends and family members they all agreed with sam e- moreover everything points to it they claimed for example now here we see that charlie uh, was a ha- had a hobby of uh, stamp collection or philately so they pointed towards his uh, stamp collecting habit my stamp collecting for example that's a temporary refuge uh, from reality they call it everyone calls stamp collection as a kind of protection from reality or an escape from reality or a shelter Uh, from reality so well maybe but now here when all of them blamed him that he was himself responsible for his uh, such a uh, weird and peculiar experience that uh, he always tries to escape the reality and he always tries to uh, travel the past as past always uh, fascinates one so well maybe but my grandfather didn't need any refuge from reality things were pretty nice and peaceful in his day from all i hear and he started my collection so when it was the matter of his grandfather um, matter of philately or stamp collection charlie here says that his grandfather also had the same kind of habit of um, stamp collection but things were quite different those days people uh, didn't suffer from all these uh, problems of the modern days like stress fear anxiety no but still he did have the same hobby and moreover it's a nice collection to 
blocks of four of practically every U.S. issue or postal stamp of United States. First day covers. First day covers here refers to uh, envelope with the stamps pasted on it on the very first day, which uh, the um, people who love stamp collection uh, post to each other. And that envelope is referred as um, first day covers and it generally remains empty. And in this way, he defines that how, what a beautiful uh, hobby it is, philately or a stamp collection. Uh, and apart from this, uh, besides President Roosevelt also, uh, the then president had the same hobby. He also collected stamps too, you know. So how can one say that all of them also wants to, uh, all of them also want to escape the reality? Anyway, here's what happened at Grand Central. Now here, from here, st he starts giving description of what was his actual experience. One night, last summer, I worked late at the office. I was in a hurry to get uptown to get to, to reach the residential area uptown to my apartment. So I decided to take the subway, the uh, underground uh, passage or tunnel uh, from Grand Central because it's faster than the bus. Okay, here yeah, Grand Surf Central refers to the underground uh, railways uh, of United States. So here these expressions, few words and phrases, late, in a hurry, faster, indicate that he was in a hurry and he just was looking for uh, a, a kind of uh, immediate relief and, and hence he was in a hurry to reach home and meet his family members and be happy. Now, I don't know why this should have happened to me. His own op opinion about his strange experience is that he himself doesn't believe. It was uh, incredible for him too. So I'm just an ordinary guy. He introduces himself named Charlie, 31 years old and I was wearing a tan, a brown color gabardine uh, suit or a suit made of uh, a coarse uh, stuff, um, uh, textile uh, kind of gabardine and a straw hat with a fancy band. So on his way, I passed a dozen men who just look like me and he here uh, gives explanation that he was not and at any moment he was not trying to escape from anything or reality. I, he just wanted to get home to Lisa, his wife. I turned into, now further he describes the journey, I turned into Grand Central Station, he entered from Vanderbilt Avenue. This was the place from where he stepped down and went down the steps to the first level and he reached the first level of the uh, Grand Central. Where you, and from where generally one can take trains like the present day or the 20th century. Then from first level I walked down another flight to the second level where the suburban trains leave uh, leave from and there in the second level he dug, he found a passage or he found a way or door doorway and he dug into as the door was arched and short heighted so he had to dug into means he bent his body low and then entered heading for the subway and then just after a few steps he realized that he got lost he thought that he found that he was walking on some unfamiliar uh, passage or corridors then that's easy to do and uh, according to him it was not at all surprising for him why did it happen to him because I have been in and out of Grand Central hundreds of times according to um, uh, here Charlie earlier he had been to this Grand Central many a times so he was very much familiar with the passages and tunnels and uh, corridors and doors and stairs but this time uh, he was always bumping into new doorways and stairs and corridors he was just coming across all of a sudden he was uh, reaching uh, new doors and corridors so once uh, here only 
during his experience of third level once he got when he was trying to find the right way to get out to reach uh, his apartment no the locality where his apartment was situated so once he got into a tunnel about a mile long and came out in the lobby of the roosevelt hotel and another time he came up in an office building on 46th street three blocks away so this happened with him and means he was not able to find reach his destination and uh, he found things uh, the or doorways and corridors extremely puzzling and confusing sometimes i think grand central is growing like a tree he felt as if it was producing new corridors and staircases like routes and then he realized and uh, he was quite sure that there was probably a long tunnel and nobody knows about it and it was there present uh, under the city right now and it had its route from time square and maybe another route to central park and maybe because for so many people through the years grand central has been an exit a way of escape so here he comments that grand central was a place from where through the subways and through the trains people used to reach their homes from their various workplaces so in other words symbolically it was a way to escape so maybe that's how the uh, tunnel i got into with an intention to escape here indirectly he is admitting so but this this uh, thought he didn't share with his friend sam but i never told my psychiatrist friend about this idea important uh, vocabulary booster you can check it later on you can pause the video or you can have a screenshot of it important questions what does the third level refer to and what was sam's reaction when charlie told him about the third level what is the modern world filled up with what according to the author is stamp collection what happened with charlie at grand central station means how did what kind of experience he had how did he find that he was at some strange level what impression on the basis of this part of the text what impression do you form of charlie what kind of person he is what explanation did charlie give against the stamp collection as a reality a, a refuge from reality when all his friends or moreover his friend sam, sam told that his stamp collection was a way to uh, escape the reality how did he defend himself so with this we come to the end of this session kindly subscribe like and share hit the bell icon there to get notified about the latest uploads